there hasn't been a new asset class since the bond market was created in 1693. Well, now there's a new asset class and it is the digital asset space. The question is, are you participating? Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Crypto Siege with another day in a life in the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good afternoon, happy Thursday to you. Yeah, it took a little bit of uh, time for me to kind of figure out like, what did I want to share today? Was it going to live stream? Was it going to do a video? I had a bunch of calls uh, to get done today as well. So I'm going back and forth. So I decided I will do the XRP Ripple daily news. I got an appointment at four o'clock. Maybe I'll hit a stream up before I go there. A quick one or app, I'm not really sure. But listen, guys, I think, again, Brad Garlinghouse's video, cool. I'll dive into that in another video. But I think this is really significant and it's very, very important to know. So guys, remember this. Remember this. Well, let me say this first. This is your XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes. So we remember the Ripple SME white paper came out, right? Big opportunity in small business payments. Big opportunity in small business payments. Now is the time to capitalize on the SME's cross-border payments. Listen, guys, they tell you everything we need to know. It's just a matter of paying attention to it. And remember, this SME, Ripple SME white paper did not come out until after Ripple had put out the word or we discovered the word that they were looking for someone to fill a vacancy at Ripple to handle loans, be a manager of this new loan vertical that they were moving into. Remember that? Loan vertical, loan vertical. We were all like, what in the world? What is Ripple doing? Are they becoming a bank? What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. And literally within an hour or two, they, they tweeted out, Ripple tweeted out this, right? And we went over this on the channel. We talked about the opportunity. We were still, we were looking at the, uh, at the, um, the hire, the, uh, the application or whatever, the, uh, for hire, it said working capital. Remember we kept saying, what in the world does working capital look like? Ripple is going to be providing working capital to SMEs. What did that look like? Check out my videos on the channel where we talked about what we thought it would be. Here's the, here was the question. Here was the $100 trillion question. Was that going to be, or are they going to be using XRP? How is XRP going to be involved in this whole new vertical that they're moving in with loans and providing working capital to SMEs? Was XRP going to be involved? Well, here is something that we discovered. Shout out to... Uh, Crypto Eddie, who did a great video on Brazil and uh, uh, Mr. Yoshitaka Katao in the bank in Brazil, is in, in Japan, that's a Brazilian bank as well. Great video, go check out Crypto Eddie, Eddie's video about that. And it, it shed some light on this particular thing. Now she covered this article that Yogita uh, Hatri, or Katri uh, did, it was on May 14th. Now I don't remember ever seeing this. This is May 14th. Ripple is working on a loan offering that will work in connection with its XRP payment solution. Let's go through this. This is a very, very interesting read. Again, shout out to Crypto Eddie for bringing this to our attention and always continue to add massive value to the XRP community. Always willing to share. Always willing to share. So quick take. Ripple is venturing into lending. As a recent job posting illustrates, the company's offering will provide working capital loans to its RippleNet customers. A Ripple spokes, uh, spokesperson told the block that the loan product would work in connection with on-demand liquidity payment solutions, which uses XRP. I wasn't aware of this. It, it, this was already put out that the loan product would work in connection. Okay, so Ripple is building a lending offering. A spokesperson of the company has confirmed to the block. The company would provide working capital loans to RippleNet customers, we knew this, and Ripple is currently hiring a, a director of product management for its loans division. We are, this is a quote, we are expanding our offering to loans to further support our customers with their working capital needs. Something that we know is a huge pain point for many of them. The spokesperson said, working capital loans are usually sought by small and medium-sized firms for funding. 
their daily business operations. Ripple's loan product will work in connection with this on-demand liquidity payment solution, which uses XRP, the spokesperson told The Block. The offering is still in its early stages, but we have received positive feedback from several customers. Global payments remain at the heart of our business, and we are excited to find new ways to serve our existing and prospective potential <laughs> new RippleNet customers, they added. Specific details of the product remain unclear at this stage since it's, it's early days. Ripple is looking for someone who will bring the loan product to market from concept to launch per the open director position. It is seeking someone with strong leadership skills as they will need to collaborate heavily with internal teams and customers. I get it. So Ripple moved uh, to bring, Ripple's move to bring in a lending product chief comes months after it raised 200 million in a Series C funding round in December. This is, I think, an important thing to note as well. In 2017, 2017 mentioned, it is worth noting that Miguel Vias, who recently left Ripple as a former head of XRP Markets, XRP Markets, first mentioned the company's, company's lending plans back in 2017. In an interview at the time, Vias said, one of my longer term goals after I get the ecosystem built out Remember we talked about why, why is this person leaving? Why is that person leaving? One of my longer term goals after I get the ecosystem built out, after I get payments running through there, as I try to merge the two worlds, the digital asset markets and the traditional capital markets. As I try to do that, one of the levers that we will be able to pull will be lending. Ripple has over 300 customers and more than two dozen customers of the total base use. The OD, uh, of the total base use the ODL solution to settle cross-border payments, more than two dozen. Some of the ODL customers include money transfer firms, MoneyGram, uh, Via Americas, and Flash FX. Online workforce platform Go Lance and financial services provider Interbank Peru, among others. The ODL solution currently supports uh, Mexico, the Philippines, and Australian markets. Ripple recently said that the support for Brazil is coming soon, as well as additional corridors across Asia Pacific, Europe, Middle East, Africa, uh, the EMEA, and Latin America. Uh, are, all are in progress for this year, 2020. And Brazil is very, very important to know. Again, Crypto Eddie did a nice video. You want to check it out on Brazil. But I wanted to bring you guys, uh, bring this to you guys' attention. So there isn't a question. This loan vertical that they're moving into with loans and working capital will be in connection with ODL. So my guess is, yeah, cool. It, it's not going to be enough. This is, this is Crypto C just. Uh, per take on this. This is my take on this. It's not going to be enough to be on Ripple Net in order to get the working capital that you're looking to get as an SME. You will have to use the ODL. You see what I'm saying, guys? And as a business owner, oh, wait a minute. So instead of getting 40 to 60 percent in savings um, using Ripple net, you mean I can get up to that 70 to 80 percent in savings by being on the ODL. Yeah. And oh, and also you're going to give me a loan working capital as well. Cool. You see what I'm saying, guys? So this to me is really, really big news. I don't know. I don't know if this was ever covered, but it makes a lot of sense today. This article, again, written May 14 for 2020. Workle, Ripple, Workle. <laughs> Ripple is working on a loan offering that will work in connection with its XRP payment solution. So again, Crypto Siege's take is you want working capital? Cool. You will be on 
the ODL, you will be using ODL if you want access to this working capital. You see what I'm saying? You need working capital, yeah. In order to get the working capital, it comes in conjunction with being on ODL. And there were other words, you know, we've said this on this channel before, there will be a point in time where there's not gonna be an A, a B, and a C to check on RippleNet. It will just be C, ODL. Not today, not in the beginning, but in, in years, you know, in future years, that will be the case, in my humble opinion. Right? It'll be just one product and it will involve XRP. After it has proven itself time and time and time and time again, they'll, they'll, they will be able to ripple and ripple net will be able to evolve to that's the option. Look at all, look at all the success to point to. Yeah, look at all the success. You want to talk testimonials? Here they are, right? Here's a, here's a, a manila full of uh, different testimonials, right? Here's a website full with all the testimonials about being on ODL and its advantages. So I believe that to happen in the future. But again, guys, the Ripple SME, we talked, what is this working capital going to look like? <laughs> what, what loan, how, what is it? Is it gonna involve XRP? And this to me clearly states that it is. It says in connection, a Ripple spokesperson told the block that the loan product would work in connection with ODL, payment solution. In connection, the loan product in connection. So to me, that says, yeah, you want the loan, you want the working capital, you'll need to transition from just being on the Ripple net to using OEL. And what is the cost? What is the SME person going to say? Oh, you mean you want me to save even more money by using OEL <laughs> and using XRP? You see what I'm saying? And you're going to give me some, uh, and you're going to give me some working capital? Yeah, you don't have to. Ask me twice, please don't twist my arm. You know, this is what I see, guys. This is what I see. So I think this is absolutely great news. Again, guys, go check out Crypto Eddie. Make sure you, uh, in S-E-R-I, Crypto Eddie, go check out our channel on YouTube. Follow her on Twitter. Absolutely outstanding community member. Always, always taking the time to share and add value to this community. What a pretty awesome lady. All right, guys, so listen, I am going to wrap up this video like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. That the battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. <laughs> Bye.